Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to modify paragraph indentation. Let's get started. Alright, so to indent paragraphs on Word, there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, if you already have your text written like I do, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the beginning of the paragraph that you're interested in indenting, and I'm going to show you the different indentation options that Microsoft Word has available. So I'm going to put my insertion point, my cursor, right here at the very beginning of the paragraph that I want to indent, and then I'm going to go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and I'm going to click this Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher and it's this little tiny button in the bottom right of the paragraph group. After I click that, it's going to open up my paragraph dialog box. Within here, you're going to see a section, or sorry, a tab for indents and spacing, and right down here, you're going to see a section for indentation. And then you have your left, your right indent, as well as special indentations. I'm going to show you what happens if I increase the left indent to, say, 2 inches. And I click OK you'll now see that the entire paragraph was indented two inches. One thing I like to do is turn on my ruler whenever I'm working with indentation, which is in the View tab, in the Show group, and I turn on the ruler. You'll now notice that for this paragraph, you'll see on the ruler that the indentation marks have changed. So over here, you're going to see this is where your first line indent is, this is your second line indent, and this is how you move them both at once. Okay, As you move this to the left or to the right, that's what, how your indentation changes. Now, there are a couple uh, tricks that you could use to adjust your indent using the ruler by clicking and dragging the first line indent, and you'll see what happens there. That's going to indent your first line. This is uh, common in writing essays or research papers. The one right below it is a hanging indent, which will actually increase everything except the first line. This is more common for APA citations, MLA citations, uh, and um, citing your sources, and so I'm going to move that back. Okay, So that's a couple different ways that you can adjust it. Some people like to press tab to uh, do an indentation, and you'll notice that when you do that, that increases your first line indentation a half inch. Now I'm going to show you a trick to actually adjust your indentation uh, in a couple different ways so that you can adjust it all at once. And if I go to the Home tab, the Paragraph group, and I go right here to the Paragraph dialog box launcher, uh, let's see what happens if I increase the right indentation. I press 2, and you'll see that this time, it basically took my indent and it collapsed it from the right. You'll notice that this ruler up at the top tells you a lot about what's going on with your indentation. The gray areas on the ruler are where uh, your margins are, so as you increase your margins this area will become white, which is our main area of our document, and the right side again is our right margins. And so you'll notice that when I increased my uh, right indentation, it actually moved this right indent all the way over two inches. And obviously I could increase that by moving it back to that point right there. Now, Word does have a few options for special indentation, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Again, with my cursor right here, I could go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and click this Paragraph dialog box launcher. And I also see that right here, Special Indentation. I'm going to reset this back to zero for right. And you'll see that Special Indentation is first line, and we're going to show you that and that will increase my first line by half an inch. And I click OK, and you'll see that gives me that default half inch first line indentation. That's really useful for research papers and writing essays. You also have an option in here for hanging indent. And that is again what I was talking about earlier, where it automatically applies a half inch indentation, hanging indent. And what that does is, uh, th this is mostly used on citations. And again, you can return it back by clicking the uh, hanging indent button on the ruler. Okay, finally the last thing that we're going to go over is how to uh, apply an indent to multiple sections of a research paper. And so let's say that I want to indent all of this, which is all of my um, research paper's body sections. And if I go right up here to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and I click the Paragraph Settings dialog box launcher, I could actually choose First Line Indent right here and that will indent all of my paragraphs. So this is really useful after you've written a research paper on how to uh, work your indentation 
um, for the entire document so that you don't have to constantly be pressing tab and applying your indentations. Okay, so that is all uh, that you need to know probably about indentations. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Again, we went over first line indents, hanging indents, left and right indents as well. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Have a nice day.